The Institute for Learning and Teaching at Colorado State University is excited to announce our newest program, the Teaching Effectiveness Initiative. The Teaching Effectiveness Initiative, or TEI, is a faculty development program that is grounded in our CSU Teaching Effectiveness Framework. The TEI is open to all faculty teaching at CSU. At this time, we are not able to offer the TEI for graduate teaching assistants or graduate students, so we encourage all graduate students at CSU to participate in the Graduate Teaching Certificate Program offered through TILT. The Teaching Effectiveness Framework, or TEF, was rolled out at CSU during the summer of 2018. The TEF is comprised of seven essential interrelated domains of effective teaching practices for face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online instruction. Each domain is grounded in the scholarship of teaching and learning. Starting in May of 2019, all TILT professional development was aligned with the domains of the framework to help instructors identify experiences and resources to help them meet their teaching goals. As you can see, the TEF has gotten a new look. While the seven domain labels and the content remain the same, we have shifted from the original TEF pie image to the reimagined conversation bubbles. The bubbles highlight the importance of holding conversations about teaching at CSU. Also, you'll notice that inclusive pedagogy has been moved to the middle of those conversations to demonstrate the importance and commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice at Colorado State. Over the years, we've asked faculty what motivates them to engage in professional development, or PD, related to teaching. We found that these responses tend to fall into four categories, including intrinsic rewards related to greater enjoyment when teaching and seeing students achieving deeper learning, sharing ideas with other faculty in a community of practice and hearing about what works or doesn't work in their classrooms, receiving recognition from departmental or upper administration, or having materials and documentation that can be used to fulfill annual review requirements to show teaching effectiveness, effort, and outcomes. The TEI was designed to foster faculty growth through the use of evidence-based teaching practices and self-reflection, the incorporation of more inclusive teaching practices, building a community of practice for faculty focused on teaching and providing recognition opportunities for faculty. We created the TEI with busy faculty in mind and purposefully tried to address faculty interests, needs, and time constraints. In fact, we shared the program drafts with a variety of faculty stakeholders across campus and then incorporated their feedback into the program prior to its rollout. While participating in the Teaching Effectiveness Initiative is optional, we invite all CSU faculty to work towards earning a Domain Certificate of Achievement by engaging in professional development aligned with the TEF domains. Faculty can take a depth approach and focus on one domain at a time, or take a breadth approach and work on multiple domains over the course of many years. Regardless of the approach, faculty will receive a Domain Certificate of Achievement after earning 10 domain experience units for a designated domain. We'll go into more detail shortly. Participants earning three domains, one of which must be inclusive pedagogy, will receive a letter of commendation from the Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs. Participants earning five TEF domains will receive a letter of commendation from the Provost. And finally, participants earning all seven Teaching Effectiveness Framework domains will receive a letter of commendation from the provost plus a small stipend or award. You can start with any of the seven domains, but you will notice that there is a special emphasis on completing the inclusive pedagogy domain as it aligns with university efforts related to diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice. Faculty can earn a domain certificate of achievement by engaging in development experiences equaling 10 domain experience units or DEUs within a particular domain. We know that there are many ways that faculty can develop their teaching practice, so we have incorporated a wide variety of acceptable PD experiences in the TEI. Acceptable experiences include tilt offerings like the best practices in teaching courses, teaching squares, and attending sessions at ramp up professional development institute or summer conference, 
experiences offered by our campus partners and the MTI coordinators, as well as off-campus experiences such as discipline or organization events focused on evidence-based teaching strategies. To earn the DEUs, faculty are expected to strategically implement the new teaching practices learned in the PD experiences into their classroom. Once the practices are implemented, we ask faculty to reflect on this experience in the post-implementation reflection form. In other words, if we think of teaching strategies as tools, not only are we interested in the new tools faculty have in their teaching toolkit, but we are also interested in how those tools are used and impact student learning. The reflection form helps faculty look back at what they've learned, as well as how they've applied this knowledge in their classrooms. In terms of the PD experiences, we want it to be as flexible as possible and not only include professional development from TILT or CSU campus partners. We thought that it was important to honor PD offered through a department office or a discipline-based conference or organization, as long as the link to the CSU teaching effectiveness framework is identified and strongly represented in the post-implementation reflection form. We also thought that it was important to acknowledge the effort and time commitment involved in different types of professional development experiences. So you'll see that a 90 minute tilt workshop is worth one DEU or domain experience unit, while a three week long tilt best practices and teaching course is worth five DEUs. There are also a handful of PD experiences, such as working in the MTI coordinator role or designing a workshop for the TILT PDI that we will handle on a case-by-case -case basis. So let's look at an example. Let's say that I want to earn a certificate of achievement for the inclusive pedagogy domain. I might take the TILT BPIP course on inclusive pedagogy in fall of 2021 choose a few strategies from the course to implement into my class the following spring, and then submit a post-implementation reflection form at the end of the spring semester. To continue working towards the certificate, in spring 2022, I might attend a three-hour discipline-based conference workshop focused on inclusive practices for the large classroom. And then later in fall of 2022, I might take the managing hot button moments in the classroom offered by the Office of Inclusive Excellence. We understand that teaching is an iterative process. So with this in mind, once a faculty member attends a professional development experience, we ask you to do three things. First, implement new or revise existing teaching practices in the classroom. Then take stock and reflect on the changes that you made to your teaching. What went well? What would you refine next time? And then third, submit a post-implementation reflection form. So let's step back for a moment and take another look at our example. If I attend inclusive pedagogy in fall 21, I'll make changes in spring 22 and then submit my reflection in summer of 22. If I attend PD in spring and fall of 22, by the time I apply what I've learned in my classes and then complete the reflections, it will likely take me two years to earn the Inclusive Pedagogy Domain Certificate of Achievement. Each faculty member will have a different journey while earning the domain certificates, depending on the types and timing of the PD experiences, plus the time that it takes to implement and reflect on new or revised teaching practices, we anticipate that it will take faculty between two to four years to earn one domain certificate of achievement. The reflection form will ask for the following information. Experience information, title, date, length of program, provider, etc. It will ask you to describe the specific changes that you implemented in your teaching related to participating in this professional development. It will ask you to describe how these changes have impacted your classroom, students, student success, etc. And how do you know this? How will these changes and results impact future teaching? And based on your experience with this domain, what recommendations would you make to colleagues? We've covered a lot of ground, so let's review a few key points about the Teaching Effectiveness Initiative. First and foremost, participation in the program is optional. 
The initiative is grounded in the teaching effectiveness framework and focuses on implementation of evidence-based teaching practices as well as reflection. The program is open to all faculty teaching at CSU. While GTAs and graduate students are not eligible, they are strongly encouraged to participate in the Graduate Teaching Certificate program offered through TILT. You must complete 10 DEUs to earn a Domain Certificate of Achievement. And you may start with any of the TEF domains. You can complete them one at a time or work on two or more at the same time. Faculty must complete a post-implementation reflection form for each experience. And the TILT TEI team will review the reflection forms and provide feedback as appropriate. And finally, materials related to the TEI can be used to fulfill annual review requirements to document teaching effectiveness effort and outcomes. They may also help prepare you to write CD Section 3, Evidence of Teaching and Advising Effectiveness of the Promotion and Tenure Application Template. If you're ready to get started, we invite you to look back at the TILT professional development that you've engaged in since the summer of 2019. Starting in May of 2019, we aligned all of the faculty development experiences offered through TILT with the Teaching Effectiveness Framework domains. If you have made changes to your teaching practices based on these experiences, please complete a post-implementation reflection form to describe and reflect on these changes. Once you've completed the reflections, contact Tanya Bucken for the next steps as we are currently piloting the record keeping system for the TEI. If you have questions about the program, please contact Tanya Bucken at tanya.bucken at colostate.edu. We look forward to working with you.